Well, despite posting bond, at least 13 men and women are still in jail tonight. On Friday, a Cincinnati man sued Sheriff Jim Neal and the Hamilton County Commission because he wasn't released after making bond. Nine on your side, I team chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham broke that story last week, and he's here now with more exclusive details. Craig? Craig, Sheriff Neal's office refuses to tell us how many inmates are still in jail because Hamilton County ran out of monitoring, un monitoring units. So the I-Team examined the sheriff's online records to try to answer that question. The Nine on Your Side I-Team went inmate by inmate. Eric Mambeo also made bond, it appears, on May the 15th, but he can't get out because they don't have another electronic monitoring unit. Checking the status of hundreds of defendants in the Hamilton County Justice Center, the most updated online records provided by Sheriff Neal's office. Londale Rogers made bond on May the 30th. His case is also pending. Our investigation found Dustin Wade posted bond three weeks ago on May 14th, but he's still in jail. Patrick Rosemond and Edric Ambayo posted bond on the 15th. On the 16th, James Todd made bond. On May 24th, nearly two weeks ago, Tina Whistler posted bond. All of them are still in jail, status pending because they are required to wear a monitoring device if released. Hamilton County ran out of monitoring devices, so the defendants remain jailed until one is available for them. It's not fair. Attorney Carl Lewis represents Roselle Martin, who sued Sheriff Neal and the Hamilton County Commission on Friday. Martin posted bond on May 23rd. He's also still in jail. The only answer given to my client's mother day in and day out is it's a manpower shortage. There are no units. When a unit comes in, your son is on the waiting list and we will get to your son when we can get to your son. That is unacceptable and it's unconstitutional, it's illegal, and it's a complete violation of a court order. When I went to court, I was ready to go that day. But that day came and, and it kept going. Late this afternoon, former Justice Center inmate Erica Montgomery told the I-Team she agreed to wear an electronic monitor in January so she could get out of jail. But she didn't get released until nine days later. What was it like for you while you were waiting those nine extra days? Um, I was, my anxiety level had kicked up and I lost faith. I lost faith that, you know, this is actually going to work for me. The I-Team requested comments from Sheriff Jim Neal and County Commissioners Denise Driehaus, Todd Portoon, and Chris Monzel, but they did not respond to our requests. Typically, they do not comment on lawsuits that have been filed against them. Kristen. Chris